smell my feet, give me something good to read. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how I remember that. <laughs> uh, so it kind of goes, I guess. Books can be just as great as candy, and the Omaha Public Library is proving that this October. Once you hear who's coming, we think you'll agree. Emily Getchman, good to see you from the Omaha Public Welcome Library. Back. What's Thanks. going on? All exciting, sorts of stuff. Exciting times, right? Mm -hmm. So much going on in October. It's going to be a really exciting well, month. Where do you want to start? We'll start with the authors because we actually have one today, today this evening, um, and we are going to have authors all month long. Mm -hmm. So tonight we start with James Larson. He's been on the show before. Yes, mm -hmm. AS for Alchemists. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and he is a local author. Um, and we used to be the artistic director at the Omaha mm -hmm. Theater Company. Who does he write for? What age? It's middle middle grades, mm -hmm. so you know that kind of junior high age. Mm -hmm. um, but he just started a new series of books, and he's been he's been working around in Omaha, a lot of different speaking engagements. But we're inviting him into our mm -hmm. Benson branch and tonight. Benson Great. tonight. Yes. Six thirty. Six thirty. Good um, job. Yes. Not that I want to <laughs> jump ahead, but I'm going to to tomorrow. And yeah. somebody who's coming in that I about flipped for because my nephews are big fans. Right, and most people will recognize this name, Lemony Snicket. Mm -hmm. um, a big deal, they made a movie with Jim Carrey about Lemony Snicket and the series of unfortunate events. Mm -hmm. um, the author's name is actually Daniel Handler, and he has a new series out that is... Wait a minute. The author's mm -hmm. name is not Lemony Snicket? It is no. not. Can you believe his, his parents did not, not name him <laughs> Lemony? Are you serious? How about that? <laughs> but, uh, you know, he's kind of mysterious. You don't really see him that often? Well, and even when we created the publicity for it and put his picture on it, I was like, who's this guy? Because yeah. you picture that Jim Carrey well, character. And you always see the silhouette, or he's in a trench coat right. turned away, and right. you never see his face. But he really is coming yeah, to he's Omaha. Yeah, just a normal guy, so yeah. he'll be here <laughs> tomorrow What's night. What's his real name? Daniel Handler. Daniel Handler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he has a new book that just came out at the end of September, Shouldn't You Be in School? Mm -hmm. um, so they'll be at Millard Branch tomorrow night at 6.30, mm -hmm. and that's free and open to the public. Great. So we're That'll hoping, I mean, we're kind of encouraging people to get in a little mm -hmm. bit early. Um, you know, they can get their books signed, they can ask him questions, and we're co-sponsoring that with the Bookworm. So that should be a great event. Any additional authors coming in October? Well, Saturday we have Joseph Bruchak. He actually writes um, young adult fiction mm -hmm. and, well, actually for all ages. Yeah. Um, but a lot of young adult as well. And that'll be at the Willa Cather branch on Saturday. Um, he's this written a lot on the of books. End. What book is this that we're going to be mm -hmm. looking at here pretty quick? Oh, I don't know. Well, the, the, the Dragon, <laughs> Dragon Castle. Castle. <laughs> is that one he wrote? Yes, I think it is. Ooh, all I, I brought so many. I don't know what I what where, I even what have we here. Put where? Well, that's one of them. And then Halloween this year. Oh, or do you want oh, to get to Teen more. Read? Hold there's, on, okay. wait, there's more. There's more, Mary. Wait, there's more. <laughs> okay. So next week is Teen Read Week, um, and that's just a time where we encourage teens to, you know read and talk about their reading and the things that they love. Mm -hmm. So we have a whole panel of authors a coming. Group, yeah. I do see um, that. On October 15th at our Abrahams branch, and there are four different authors that are going to be speaking. Mm -hmm. um, and I brought some of their books, but that's that's a really unique opportunity. This is great stuff, Emily. Is, um, I know. Are yeah. you ready for Halloween yet? You ready to talk about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. let's, talk about? let's talk what, about what Halloween. Are you what do you got going on? I don't know. You haven't I haven't decided, decided yet. Can the library help me decide what to be for Halloween? They might Any be books able to. on that? Absolutely. There's so many DIY. Any books to help me right, make the costumes? Yes. <laughs> yes. I actually looked that up before I came because I was like, I need some ideas too. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been asking some of the kids at the library what I should be, and they all said I should be a witch, so I don't know how to take that. Um, they said because of the long hair, I don't know. I don't know how to interpret don't that. Don't believe kids. I know, right? But um, we have a lot of events coming up, and most of them are for kids and teens. Um, kids, of course, we have movies, crafts, special story times, and costume contests. But for the teens, it's kind of, yeah, there's some cute pictures. Uh -huh. um, they're called spooktaculars. Somebody looked like they were from an 80s aerobics class, which <laughs> staying on a little one is extra amusing. Keep they going. have so many different activities. And, you know, the library staff gets into it, too. So mm -hmm. they dress up as book characters or whatever. But we make the rounds that day on Halloween and, and go visit the branches and bring candy. But there's always something going on at the different branches. It's for the whole family. Mm -hmm. um, and then for teens, because they're in that kind of weird... I don't go trick-or-treating anymore, mm -hmm. but this is still fun, and we want to get dressed up. We have after-hours lock-ins, so it's not for the kids, and it's not for their parents. It's just for the teens. They do need permission from the parents, but they can come in, eat grody stuff. And How does that work? <laughs> what time to what time? Um, usually it's when the library closes, so between 6 and 7 o'clock, mm -hmm. um, and then they go till 9 or 10 at night. You've got that big Celebrate Halloween picture yes. right yep. on the front of your website. Just 
click just on click that. Just click on that. Yep. All those ideas. And the author events. Those are also detailed online. In yep. fact, the entire calendar is available online. And I feel like if you're looking for free stuff to do, the library should be your first stop. There's <laughs> always you have planned? There's always something yeah. going on. We didn't even touch the surface of it. Yeah. So, you know, just go check it out and there's gonna be something for you there. Thank you, Emily. Thank yeah. you. Great to have, have you here. Are we gonna see you before Halloween? Probably not. Probably not. Um, Halloween. No, you Green too. pants. All right. Green pants. Gotta <laughs> acknowledge. <laughs> like them. Thank Thanks. you. We'll see you. Uh,